I'm pleased to be joined by Congressman Marlon Stutzman, Republican of Indiana and a member of the House Budget Committee. He was fresh from a meeting at the White House. All the, the entire Republican caucus was over there to talk about spending issues. What came out of this? Was there a specific commitment from the White House to, to meet you on these spending issues and to enact the cuts that you've all have said are necessary for a debt limit increase? Well, it was a very cordial meeting. Uh, all the Republican House Republicans were there uh, with the president. And uh, what I walked away from was that the president says he is very serious about uh, the debt, the national debt that we have, and also that he wants to uh, eventually or touch on entitlements, knowing that that's one of the biggest drivers of our debt. But how do we do that without saddling the states and also uh, hurting seniors? So I think that's, um, I took away from that that he, was, he is serious about it, but coming back to the proposal of, of Paul Ryan and the budget committee and the House uh, Republicans is that uh, I believe our proposal fits that criteria. So. I'm hopeful. Uh, obviously, with the presidential election coming up, it's uh, there's going to be a lot of rhetoric out on the trail, and uh, hopefully, we can get something done before 2012. Did he indicate, or did his people indicate, that they're willing to make the cuts for the debt limit increase? That you, you've said you need to see corresponding cuts if you just want to see a debt limit increase. Are they going to do that? Well, he said that he made uh, specific cuts in his budget and is, uh, has put those on the table, but um, ultimately, there was no a discussion about whether dollar for dollar, uh, how far we're going to spread this out over the next 10 years. So there's a lot of uh, maneuvering. I felt like this was more of a get to know you <laughs> type of a, of a meeting more than let's sit down and negotiate. So I, we've got a long way to go, but I felt that it was a good step and I appreciated his invitation to us. So, uh, so Congressman, you can get to do a get to know you with 200 of your closest friends, <laughs> I guess. That's easy to do. What, one, one other sticking point, it seems to, be, to me, from the White House perspective, is the issue of taxes. They're saying that absolutely has to be on the table if we're going to put cuts there. Was that issue discussed, taxes specifically? It had uh, been brought up uh, in, a, in kind of a roundabout way. Uh, Amy, it was um, uh, Dave Camp, the way, chairman of Ways and Means, addressed uh, the president as well. But uh, there was never the talk about tax increases. Uh, the president did mention that we uh, uh, have what he believes the lowest income tax, individual income tax rates uh, compared to GDP. Now, there's a lot of uh, maneuvering here and, and wordsmithing in trying to position, but um, uh, as far as a, an out-and-out -out tax increase, there was no discussion about that because I think House Republicans have made our position clear that we don't have a tax problem in Washington, we have a spending problem. So, so Congressman, is that off the table then, that there, there's no way that Republicans, either you or your caucus, would agree to a tax increase in, uh, in order to get the cuts that you're asking for? Well, I think what we're open to is the discussion about our tax policy. There's no doubt we have a convoluted tax system, and uh, whether we, uh, my, my principles are, if, let's broaden the base, uh, let's uh, do away with the tax loopholes, let's do away with the, uh, the uh, punishment of our businesses that do work overseas and they don't bring those dollars back here to the United States because they don't want to pay the high tax rates. So all of that, I believe, is on the table. But just a simple tax increase to pay for the spending over the past uh, decade, I believe is irresponsible and many Republicans would not support that. But an overall tax discussion, I think, is, is appropriate and needed. We saw the vote yesterday on the debt ceiling. Clearly, it was not going to pass under any set of circumstances. How far are you willing to take this, though? We're, we're now past the statutory debt limit. The Treasury Department says they can get us maybe to the beginning of August. Could we be sitting here August 1st with the market still not sure as to whether we're going to default on our debt? Well, I hope not. I mean, you know, good leadership would say that you would try to take care of it before uh, you come to the deadline, but you know how this town works. Right. It seems like uh, there's uh, a lot of accusations saying, "Well, if you didn't, you could have gotten more if you didn't take it up to the deadline." Uh, I, I believe that that the president and and I know our caucus is sincere and genuine in saying, "Let's try to do this before that." There's no reason for all the political theater because this isn't just a government shutdown like we were dealing with in the CR. This is an, an economic. Uh, there are economic ramifications here if we don't raise the debt ceiling, but also we have to show the American people and the world that we're serious about controlling spending. And, and Congressman, talking about that debt ceiling vote, um, you, you mentioned uh, Ways and Means Chairman Dave Camp. He took to the floor yesterday. I, I want to play that for you and then have you react, if we could just play that clip. This vote, a vote based on legislation I've introduced, will and must fail. So, so, Congressman, you got to explain this to regular people out there, especially uh, for your class, this freshman class that came in, said they wanted to change things in Washington. You have a guy going to the floor saying, I introduced this legislation and I want it to fail. Isn't this what you campaigned exactly against? 
Well, yes. Um, it, it's that type of um, uh, rhetoric that confuses people. And, but really, I believe what happened is, is we've moved the ball. Uh, to the point that uh, when the president and Secretary Geithner had asked for a clean uh, increase, well, now we've done it and it failed by, with, with bipartisan uh, votes. So uh, this is now an opportunity for us to say, look, we're not here. Uh, actually, I believe that uh, it answers what a lot of American people would like to have, and that's just straight up or down votes. Don't convolute the, the, uh, the subject matters. Well, this is a simple straight up or down vote and it was defeated with uh, both sides uh, voting against it. So uh, hopefully now we can move forward and have the real discussion about what do we need to do to offset spending, to reduce spending, uh, tax policy, entitlement reforms, uh, all of those things should be on the table. All right, Congressman Marlon Stutzman, Republican from Indiana, thanks. All I'm right. sure you, like Thank many you. members of Congress, are a little careful what you tweet these days, I have to think. <laughs> uh, absolutely, I'm uh, trying to be a little bit more cautious with everything and making sure I use spell check as well. <laughs> spell check as well, all right. Thank you, Congressman, really appreciate it.